Meckel's diverticulum. Etiology. Meckel's diverticulum is an anomalous remnant of the vitaline duct present in the terminal ileum that results from incomplete obliteration of the umphalomesenteric duct. Meckel diverticulum is a true diverticulum, involves all three layers of the small intestine. It is the most common congenital abnormality of the gastrointestinal tract, with an incidence ranging from 1 to 4% and a male to female ratio of 2 to 1. 50% of the diverticula contain heterotopic tissue, with gastric mucosa as the most common type. A few diverticula contain pancreatic tissue. For exam purposes, it is good to know the five rules of twos. Two types of the mucosal lining. One, native ileal mucosa. Two, heterotopic mucosa. Most common, acid-producing gastric mucosa, 60%. Other types include pancreatic, colonic, and duodenal mucosa. Within two years of life, 2% of the population. Two feet proximal to the ileocecal valve on the anti-mesenteric side of the ileum. Two inches long. Clinical manifestations. Meckel's diverticulum is usually asymptomatic, but can be found incidentally or can be present with a variety of clinical manifestations, including gastrointestinal bleeding or other acute abdominal complaints. Symptomatic Meckel's diverticulum causes lower gastrointestinal bleeding, resulting from the ulceration of adjacent ileal mucosa by acid-secreting heterotopic gastric mucosa contained in the diverticulum. Bleeding is often brisk and painless. Meckel's diverticulum is the most common cause of significant lower gastrointestinal bleeding in infants and young children. Blood supply of Meckel's diverticulum is the Vitaline artery. The Vitaline artery is a branch of the superior mesenteric artery, which supplies the diverticulum. It's normally obliterated by the ninth week of intrauterine life. Its presence on computed tomography and geography indicates a Meckel diverticulum. Abdominal findings on physical examination are usually benign. Most common complication in children and younger adults bleeding. Most common complication in adults. Intestinal obstruction. Diagnosis. A definitive diagnosis of Meckel's diverticulum is generally made in one of three ways, depending upon the initial clinical presentation. A Meckel scan, mesenteric arteriography, or abdominal exploration. Provided that gastric mucosa is present, the diagnosis of Meckel's diverticulum can be made with an 85 to 90% sensitivity by a radionuclide 99M technetium per technetate scan, also called a Meckel scan. Radionuclide scan findings associated with Meckel's diverticulum show the presence of heterotopic gastric mucosa in the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. If radionuclide scan results are equivocal, arteriography may be used, which will show an anomalous branch of the superior mesenteric artery feeding the diverticulum. Most accurate diagnostic tests in children is scintigraphy with sodium 99M technetium per technetate, but not in adults because of the reduced prevalence of ectopic gastric mucosa. Sensitivity and specificity can be improved by pentagastrin and glucagon or histamine type 2 receptor antagonist. In adults with normal nuclear medicine findings, barium studies should be performed. Features of Meckel's diverticulum on imaging studies. Plain abdominal film may demonstrate nonspecific signs of intestinal obstruction. An intralith may be seen in the lower abdomen, but cannot be definitively localized in the Meckel's as opposed to the appendix. Ultrasonography. An obstructed Meckel's diverticulum may be identified as a fluid-filled pouch off the distal small intestine. Ultrasound findings are nonspecific and easily confused with appendicitis. Intussusception can be diagnosed with ultrasound, but attributing the lead point to be a Meckel's diverticulum cannot be determined with any certainty. Computed tomography. 
Asymptomatic or bleeding diverticula are rarely or infrequently identified with computer tomography. A distinction between a Meckel's diverticulum and normal small intestinal loops is virtually impossible in the absence of associated inflammation. Acutely inflamed diverticula can be identified as a blind pouch of the distal small intestine and are typically with associated bowel wall thickening of the paradiverticular fat. Upper gastrointestinal series Small bowel series have demonstrated Meckel's diverticulum, but are unreliable, even using enterocolysis in experienced hands. False negative rates are high due to rapid emptying of contrast from the diverticulum, obscured visualization of the diverticulum due to overlying contrast-filled small bowel loops, poor filling of the diverticulum, occlusion or narrowing of the entrance. Mesenteric arteriography. A diagnosis of Meckel's is based upon the finding of an anomalous superior mesenteric artery branch feeding the diverticulum. Active contrast extravasation may be seen in patients with ongoing hemorrhage. Meckel scan. Identifies areas of ectopic gastric mucosa, if present. Treatment. Initial management. Initial medical management of symptomatic Meckel's diverticulum is directed toward managing the clinical manifestations that brought Meckel's diverticulum to clinical attention. Intravenous lines should be placed and fluid and electrolyte therapy administered as needed. Patients with symptoms and signs of bowel obstruction may require nasogastric decompression. Patients with gastrointestinal bleeding should be initiated on proton pump inhibitor therapy. The use of proton pump inhibitors does not alter the sensitivity or specificity of a Meckel scan. Aluminum hydroxide should be avoided because it limits the mucosal localization of radial tracer. Resection of symptomatic Meckel's diverticulum. Meckel's diverticulum can be resected by simple diverticulectomy, excision of the diverticulum at its base, or by segmental small bowel resection and primary anastomosis. Endoscopic resection of inverted Meckel's diverticulum has also been reported, simple diverticulectomy. Surgical procedures can be performed using hand-sewn or stapling techniques via an open or laparoscopic, including both conventional and single incision, approach. It's likely that a laparoscopic approach is feasible and safe. Complications Meckel's diverticulum can cause intestinal obstruction and has been associated with the following complications. Hemorrhage, most common. Intussusception. Intussusception refers to the invagination of a part of the intestine into itself. Volvulus. The intestine, usually the small bowel, can twist around the fibrous cord or band, often associated with Meckel's diverticulum, such as those from the tip of the diverticulum to the peritoneal lining of the interior abdominal wall or other adhesions. Litres hernia. Incarceration of a Meckel diverticulum inside a femoral hernia. Meckel's diverticulitis. Patients present with acute right lower abdominal pain, mimicking acute appendicitis or acute mesenteric lymphadenitis. Image-based discussion. Here's an image of an asymptomatic Meckel's diverticulum found during an open abdominal wall reconstruction. This is an image of a lower endoscopic view of an inverted Meckel's diverticulum. This lesion was thought to be a polyp based on initial computer tomography findings, but was later confirmed to be a Meckel's diverticulum on diagnostic laparoscopy. This is an abdominal CT scan of an 82-year-old patient with Meckel's diverticulitis that demonstrates an air-filled diverticulum surrounded by significant induration. A stone is demonstrated within the diverticulum. This 21-year-old male had a surgically proven ruptured Meckel's diverticulum. The nonspecific CT findings include induration of the omentum with bubbles of free air, noted in the sub-umbilical region suggesting a ruptured viscous. Here's an incidental note of a non-inflamed Meckel's diverticulum in the axial view, image A, and coronal reconstruction, image B, of the abdominal CT scan.
That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.